Welcome to the magical world of Bright Star, a place where your family can embark on enchanting adventures, learn valuable lessons, and create lasting memories together. Dive into stories that spark imagination, celebrate diversity, and inspire young minds. Join us as we explore the wonders of Bright Star, where every book opens a door to a new and exciting journey. A Bright Star Sports and Recreation Book Fair Play Ken, Sam, Brooke and Witt were excited for the big tennis tournament. They always looked forward to the Fall Tennis Classic. It was the biggest tennis event of the year. This year Witt had a good chance of winning the Junior Championship event. Her sisters helped her warm up in the driveway. Remember that tall girl I played against last year? What if she's back this year? Wit asked. She had lost to the other girl in last year's final. Oh, she's nothing to worry about, Wit. She's an okay player, but mostly she's just a bad sport. Her mom is not the nicest person either. Remember how she yelled through the whole match? Said Ken. Yeah, sportsmanship is important, said Sam. Remember Coach Murph told us that winning is good, but how you behave whether you win or lose is just as important. You never want to be seen as a poor loser, she said. That's mostly what we remember about that girl, right? Not whether she's a good player. Hop in the car, girls! Mom said. It's time to get to Bright Star Sports Park. As the car pulled out, Wit asked, Mom what does good sportsmanship mean? Well, a good sport is someone who understands that being humble and kind is better than being mean and selfish. For some people winning is the most important thing and they behave very badly toward other players. When the four sisters arrived at the Bright Star Sports Park, there were already lots of people there. Some tennis matches had already started. There was a buzz of excitement in the air. Wit was nervous though. She was worried about having to play the same tall girl from the previous year. She ran to check the brackets to see if she might have to face her. Sure enough, that girl was in the other bracket. If she won her bracket and Wit won hers, they would play for the championship. Let's go watch the tall girl's match, Wit said. I want to see how she's doing. That's a good idea since you could end up playing her in the final just like last year, said Ken. The sisters were surprised to see that the tall girl was losing to a much smaller girl named Leslie, who was a friend of theirs. Each time the tall girl lost a point she got very frustrated. The sisters also noticed that the girl's mother was really upset. She was yelling at the chair umpire and at her daughter. The sisters felt embarrassed by the mother's poor sportsmanship. Just then Coach Murph sat down by the girls. He came to the tournament every year to watch the kids from Bright Star School. Coach Murph, the tall girl is losing to Leslie. It's not always the biggest or oldest player who wins, said Coach Murph. It's the one who tries her hardest. Just then the tall girl lost another game and threw her racket down on the court. Now that's poor sportsmanship, Coach Murph said. Wow, said Brooke, I can't believe that girl lost to Leslie. I know, said Ken. And the way her mom yelled at her and the umpire. Phew. That's tough. I bet her daughter feels pretty embarrassed. Well. Let's hope Whit plays good against Leslie. If Leslie could beat the tall girl she must be really good, said Sam. Whit and Leslie warmed up before the start of their match. They laughed and had fun, while their mothers talked and laughed. The match was great. The score was back and forth. Whit and Leslie both played wonderfully. Good shot, Whit, said Leslie. Thanks, said Wit. The girls cheered for each other and the spectators clapped for each good shot. It's a lot more fun when the players are good sports, said Coach Murph. Everyone had fun cheering for the girls who were both playing very well. Wit did eventually win the match, but it was very close. Wit and Leslie met at center court and congratulated each other with a big hug. You played great, Wit! Leslie said. So did you. You were tough, Leslie. That was so much fun, said Wit. The girls stood side by side with their trophies while the crowd cheered and everyone took pictures. 
Great job, <laughs> Leslie, and nice game, wit, said Sam. Great sportsmanship, said Coach Murph. Now moms, you can be good sports and take both girls and the sisters for ice cream, blurted Sam. Everybody cheered for that great idea. Think about it. Which sister is playing in the tournament? Which player is the sister nervous about playing? What did the sisters notice about the tall girl's mom? What did Coach Murph say helps a player who wins? How did Wit and Leslie show good sportsmanship? Let's work together. Winning is always the most fun. But, no one wins all the time. Doing your best with all your energy is best, whether it's sports or music or art or whatever you do. I will. Practice my skill so I can do my best. Be a good sport whether I win or lose. Encourage and cheer for others. Show that you are a good friend and a good sport by cheering for and encouraging your opponents. Be willing to compliment them when they do something good. Understand that being a good person is more important than winning. What kind of person you are shows the most when you are a good sport. Thanks for visiting the magical world of Bright Star. We're always here and always excited to have you come back and see us again. Make sure you visit us at brightstarworld.com for more enchanting books and videos. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep exploring, and keep shining bright.